Mental Health on Marine Corps Air Station Iwakuni hosted a women's self-defense class to shed light on a topic that often goes unnoticed and unreported. What I got from today was effective um, methods of escape. Um, and I think it's, it's, it's important for anyone to be aware of that, um, how to appropriately get away from someone that is trying to attack you for whatever reason. Unfortunately, it's an issue and it's something that we need to arm people with appropriate um, strategies to, to resist that. Domestic violence is not just physical abuse. It can come in many different forms. We know that it's an epidemic. We know that it happens very, very frequently. A lot of the concern is that sometimes people can't identify what domestic violence is. It's not necessarily about the physical attacks that occur, but it can be emotional, it can be verbal, it can be sexual, it can be spiritual. So a lot of people don't know exactly what domestic violence looks like, um, and that's why we have to continue to educate people on what, it, what a healthy relationship looks like. The statistics for domestic violence are extremely high and most cases don't even get reported. Um, there tends to be a little bit of shame in reporting when there's an incident of domestic violence and therefore we want to encourage people to report crimes. So the statistics are about the same. Um, statistically between one in four women um, are become victims of domestic violence and at least one in seven men become victims of domestic violence. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Show your support for victims and educate yourself on exactly what domestic violence is. If you or someone you know is in an abusive relationship, you should contact Behavioral Health for help. Reporting from Marine Corps Air Station Iwakuni, Japan, I'm Lance Corporal Cheyenne Newman.